Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not, just subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this model, we are going to discuss the fourth question. Ages of 60 teachers in primary schools of the Mandal given in the following frequency distribution table. Construct the frequency polygon and frequency curve for the data without using histogram. Use separate tab sheets. Ages, the given 24-28 range, number of teachers will be 12, 28-32 years, number of teachers will be 10, like that they are given. So here, frequency polygon and frequency curve. So what is meant by frequency polygon? So by using ruler or scale you need to join join by using ruler or scale join midpoints then frequency polygon that is frequency polygon then frequency curve means by using hand so we need to join by using hand we need to join midpoints by using hand we need to join midpoints join midpoints so let's take here scale we need to write so what is scale for this on x-axis one centimeter will be equal to what is that on x-axis one centimeter will be equal to then what you will take four units that is four years you can take like that four years or four units then on y axis one centimeter will be equal to two teachers two teachers or two units so let's find out mid values for the frequency polygon so here 24 and 28 what is the mid value 24 plus 28 by 2 what you will get 24 plus 28 that is by 2 52 by 2 will get 26 next one 28 plus 32 by 2 then what you will get here 28 plus 32 that is 60 by 2 then you will get 30 like that here we are added 4 by 2 that is mid values we need to add 4 by 2 that is 2 so for 32 plus 36 bytes for first value we need to add 2 so if you check here 28 plus 2 this is 24 plus 2 we can take like that so previous one is added plus 2 then it will be 34 then 36 plus 2 it will be 38 then 40 plus 2 it will be 42 then 44 plus 2 it will be 46 so these are the values 46 then we are going to construct frequency polygon by using by using so first of all frequency polygon means by using ruler by using scale we need to frequency polygon by using scale we need to join the we need to join the midpoints here corresponding frequency value what's the midpoint so here for 24 and 28 12 so where is the 12 12 is here so for 24 and 28 this is the mid value so we need to locate like this that is the mid value before this 24 means so this is 24 28 means 26 is here then for this will be here so this is the value so 26 means here will be 22 then 20 sorry this is 20 then 22 is here then 28 and 30 that is 10 so here at frequency 10 we need to take 30 so this is 30 value without frequency histogram that is histogram 32 to 36 will be 15 so let's take 15 will be where 
so after 5, 14 this is mid value so 15 will be here and this is 34 then 36 to 40 9 so where is that 9 so here 8 here 8 here mid value is 9 so we will get 38 so this is the value of 38 then 40 to 44 will be 8 40 to 44 will be 8 here we will get exactly that is mid value is 42 so 42 then 44 to 48 6 then you will get 46 so this is mid value so this is the mid values so frequency polygon by using ruler we are joining the midpoints the next one take here so what is that is so let's join these points as like this then we'll take this one so let's find out this where this one so join all the midpoints we will get like this So join points like this then we will get the points will be so after joining we have to construct properly that is midpoints are not so let's find out all the points so this is the way to construct frequency polygon finally you can take one thing midpoints located so join once again take all these as mark like this so if you mark like this it will be good so join midpoints like this so this is the frequency polygon without histogram this is frequency polygon without histogram our next one is Let's take again midpoints frequency curve. So here we'll take frequency curve. So frequency curve. So now we will not take that ruler. We're going to use scale for that only. We're going to join. So before this, 22 will be the midpoint. Next, after 24 and 28, what is the interval? 24 and 28, what is the interval? That is 26, where you will get 12. So 12, so here you will get. Then again 10. So here you will get. Again 10 means here you will get. Then again 15. So where you will get after 15? After this, 16. So after 14, middle point, then 9 so where you get here you will get 9 means so 8 after mid 1 that is half of that this is 9 then what is next one is 8 so here where you get 8 is here then again 6 44 to this 6 then again finally here is the value then join this one with hand so by using hand you can draw like this so by using hand you need to join so we will not get like as like ruler so we will not get like ruler we will get something like its curve so I am giving double coating to appear clearly but only one time is enough then encircle the midpoints so here here then this point is 30 this point is 34 this point is 38 this point is 42 then this point is 46 then this point is 50. So this is the way to do frequency curve. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.